Hey guys, Gable from One Grace World Trader, and today I have another figure review for you. This time, this is a, a Star Platinum figure by Bompasto, as you can see up in that corner. And I've got to say, this box is probably one of the strangest boxes I've ever got for multiple reasons, just because of the design and the shape of it. So up top we have the JoJo logo and the Star Platinum text together, as I've said, with the Bompasto logo. On this side we have a cool picture of what looks like Kaki Owen. Star Platinum written down there. And then... It's just about make out his fist there. See, now, now I'm thinking about maybe it's meant to be Jota with his hat off. On this other side we have a whole lot of text which I assume is meant to be him ordering somebody. Again, you can see his fist there. And on the back of it we have a sort of cool image of him. Which what, honestly, which what looks like maracas. It's really strange. And um, it's really cool. It looks almost sort of like a vintage box or something that's far more expensive than a PVC figure. And up top we have a Jojo there, um, we have Jojo there, I'll open the up so we can take a look at that, and some text there. So we actually have something similar to my Joseph Joe Star review, if you go back and watch that. Uh, we have a picture of Star Partner there, and we actually have his uh, sort of skill chart there, and as you can see it's pretty stacked, as he is amazing. And there's his stand card, because as you may know, the stand from, the stands from part 3 are all based on a tarot deck. And here on the last layer we have this cool picture of Jotaro. I also quickly wanted to show you this cool art as once you've taken them out you get to reveal this in the back of the box. So he's another big figure so before I go all shaky and take it off of the tripod I want to throw some information at you. So this figure is actually probably the oldest figure in my collection that was made in 2004 as a prize figure hence that really strange box and I have bought it to be a companion piece to my Jotaro which was released in 2017 that you've probably seen the review for if you've been on my channel for a while, but you'll, I'll show you that figure later on, as we'll be doing a size comparison. So, this is meant to be the sculpt from part 3, but to me, part 3 style pattern was a bit more built, a bit more sort of just pure size and mass to him. Not that this guy isn't big, but if we take a look, you'll see he's got quite a thin waist, and his face reminds me more of the part 4 style pattern where he got thinned down a bit, and became a bit more expressive and because of that I have, I have a feeling that maybe the artist got some uh, got some pictures from the manga for part 4 if it was out in 2004 honestly I have, I'm not 100% sure but this one definitely looks more like that version to me so as you can see quick up and down, up and down the sculpt's really great I absolutely love the muscle tone his chest is huge you can see the shadow it casts onto his abs with his lats flaring there, and you can just about make out all the lights of it poor. We've got his obliques there going up into his lats. Great definition down the centre of his chest. Some nice shading there. The golds are a bit flat, they look like just as plain metallic they could have done with some extra shading. We've got some great leg definition going down, we've got some really clean lines, and then on these boots, we have some really great iridescence and shades to those purples. So, quick spin around, we have this, which is of course my hate, most hated part of some Van Presto figures, is the way they do the base. I would have preferred, although it would have been massive, it would have been like a 12 inch, like my turntable uh, here. This basing system I'm not a huge fan of, but I guess it's for less of two evils when you could have a base that large or something, a figure this large. Thing up and back again, we have some shading there, and as you can see, Bit, bit of a naughty sculpt there, we have some gluteus maximus going on and some great detail and sculpt just everywhere but there's muscle moving up to his back there too with his terrace major and minor, his traps coming down really really great detail and again there on his triceps really really good again, the metallic gold I think looks a bit better up there it looks like there's a bit more effort put in really clean on the metal, there's no I'm yet to spot anywhere where there's paint sort of spillage a slight ding there but I can't speak for everyone's figure, so we'll move past that for now. But like the boots, some great iridescence there. Fingernail sculpted really well. His signature scarf, of course, and this face. I really love this face. It's very, it's almost like a younger carefree style, but I know it's really great. Some clean lines there as well, down his nose, around the side of his face, and his eyes. Bright red eyes, and those eyes actually look painted rather than deco, but I'm not 100% sure. And again, we have this purple iridescence we've seen everywhere else, put into his hair. I think that's the best angle to see, just how great a shade we have going on. From the back, the hair looks great, doesn't it? It's really spiking off in all directions. Looks really awesome. 
Again, I'm blown away by that back. It sort of reminds me of early Ronnie Coleman. And then on there we can see his arm and his deltoids there. Really, really nice. I really like the sculpt. But something else to mention is this figure is really cheap. It goes for between 30 and 40 pounds. And although the shading may not be as good as you see on the Di Bellamonte style platinum, this thing is huge. It's got a great presence and that sculpt is brilliant. The paint may not be mega or standard, but that's re I'm really impressed with this so far. So let's measure him and then put him next to some other pieces. So his height from the bottom of his boots to the top of his head is which is from that tallest spike on his head is just shy of a foot. We're talking like an eighth of an inch, so he's damn near 30 centimetres tall. His widest point is from the tip of his boot to the tip of the base on his other leg, which is about 10 inches wide, which is about 25 centimetres wide. And he doesn't have a huge depth, it's probably from the back of this loincloth to the front of his other foot, which is probably about 4 inches at a push, which is about 10 centimetres. So he is on a delf shelf by himself, and he could almost be a solo display piece, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to display him with in a second. So here he is, the war thing, one eighth Jotaro. And then here he is with the piece I bought him to be the companion for, which is the one six Jotaro Kujo. So here they are together, and realistically, Star Partner should be sort of a, a good good few inches taller than Jotaro is, as he, he is a bigger presence, but there is a cut off to how big you can make figures, and I actually believe this, this one considering the difference in dates that they were released and such, this is a companion piece to a different, larger Jotaro figure. I'll try and remember to put an image up of that. But, I think they go together really well. We have the light blue contrast with the dark blue. We have all this colour, although it's all blended in really well together, the gold setting off, this sort of, his dark browns against the purples. I re I'm really impressed with this figure, especially when I paid about £33 for it. The shading is probably very decent on the gloves and his shoes and the cleanness of this paint with the only slight problem I have being that slight chip, but that could just be mine. Really, really blown away with this figure, especially considering the price. I'm all but impressed, but Presto has done it again, really impressed me. And it's probably why I ranked them number one as my favourite company. They're willing to go out there, do some, com um, some figures that other companies aren't willing to. And they have all sorts from the low price range to the high price range. Um, I've never been disappointed by them at all. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got an insight into this figure. And you're as happy with it as I am. I can't recommend it enough. I think for the price, the sculpt, the paintwork, I'm really, really impressed. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.